as i've already mentioned majority of patients in their early stages of the disease will not have any symptoms so they will be uh, coming to the nephrologist because of their lab abnormalities which can be protein loss in the urine or red blood cells in the urine or if their creatinine is high but some patients can develop frank nephrotic syndrome which means that they will be losing excess amount of protein in the urine which will lead to swelling of whole body or sometimes there can be permanent kidney failure some uh, patients can present in the end stage kidney disease meaning they will be diagnosed first time with kidney problem but at the time of diagnosis their kidneys will be permanently damaged which means that they were suffering from this iga nephropathy from uh, many months or many years but they could not be diagnosed and ultimately they will land in kidney failure so ultimately the diagnosis of iga nephropathy is a biopsy based biopsy based diagnosis uh, meaning we cannot diagnose iga nephropathy just by blood tests or by scanning so we need a kidney biopsy kidney biopsy meaning we will have to remove a small piece of uh, kidney tissue from the kidney and we have to examine it under microscope with variety of stains to identify whether that iga antibody is deposited in the kidney causing the damage or not if that is present then we will diagnose iga nephropathy so this is about the diagnosis of iga nephropathy